Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, what we're going to be doing is taking this plumber's felt I got and actually insulating the bed of the Creality CR10. So this plumber's felt um, is an interesting material. It was actually pointed out to me by a viewer. And what it's used for is in the plumbing industry, uh, it's non-flammable. It's supposed to be able to withstand heat, I think, heat up to, I think, like 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit. And you have your, like, your pipes here that you're soldering on, and you put this uh, behind it so you don't catch the wall on fire and that kind of stuff. So it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to put it on the bed. Now, the interesting thing is this is 12 by 12, and I got it off of Amazon. Now, I went to my local big box home improvement stores, and they had this there, but it was only 12 by 9, not 12 by 12 like this, and it had brass rings for, like, hooking on nails or something like that. So I was able to get a 12 by 12 sheet off of Amazon, and I'll have the link down below. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to mount this up on the Creality. So I'm going to go ahead and take the bed off and I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to install this. Okay, here we are back at the bench. We've got the bed removed. Now you might remember in a prior episode we used some of that thermal sheathing <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, insulate the back of this. Now before I, I go any further I want to talk a little bit about this for a second. Seems to have been there's a lot of confusion about this and I want to clear it up. So a lot of people said I put this on backwards. I didn't. Um, this back portion, this metalized portion, is designed for reflective heat. Now there's two types of heat, reflective and convective heat. And reflective heat is where the heat source is separated from the object you want to protect. So basically think of this as a mirror and it reflecting the heat that's coming at it from a heat source. Like on the firewall of your car, you have the engine, you have the firewall, it's going to reflect the heat. If you have convective heat, what that is is that that's heat where it's touching. And so if you were to put this metal piece on the back here, it would simply basically conduct that heat. Um, so that's why on the other side of this, there's actually a thin uh, woven sheet of fiberglass that creates basically a gap between um, the hot, you know, hot area and this back piece. So it gives it a space to reflect on rather than touching it. So it's kind of a short story, but this is the way it's supposed to go. And this material is rated to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, having it in there, uh, this touching the plate is, is, is fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And then I'm also going to, pro I'm going to try to reuse this to reattach or to attach the uh, plumber's felt. So let's go ahead and see how this kind of comes off. Okay, so we're back. So we watched a little bit of a time lapse of installing this. So basically what I did is I peeled up the old, and I don't think I'm going to try saving this. I'm going to actually just put down a new piece. I've got another new piece. But uh, the one thing I wanted to show this other side, this is what I was talking about. This has a pretty good, uh, actually, fiberglass lining to it uh, that actually acts uh, for the convection type heat. Uh, rejection so it provides that gap between the metallic surface and the heat source and uh, it pulled up actually not too bad it did take quite a bit of force left a little bit of residue I didn't I didn't you know bother cleaning that up that's not going to do anything and I put the felt down with cap down tape now I have links to all this down below I got to clean up a little bit more of the tape with an exacto knife once I get it done but as you can, as you saw, I trimmed off a little bit of the edges of this to kind of fit inside this border. Kind of pushed over a little bit on this side when I was installing, but not not a big deal. And then what I'm going to do is use the fresh sheet of this to kind of cover the whole thing. So uh, there'll really be some significant um, insulation on this guy once we're done. So I really expect a pretty big difference because even holding my hand on this felt. Uh, it's a it plumber's felt. It's actually getting pretty warm. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach this back and see how that goes. Okay. 
Okay, so here we are here back again. Uh, I put, as you saw in the time lapse, I put the aluminized cover on here. Uh, I also added a little bit of Kapton to, to uh, just uh, toughen up the edges a little bit uh, to hold this on. I think I pretty much got enough of this and it holds pretty good. Uh, it was a little bit short on the back, so I decided to put Kapton tape on the back here uh, to make sure I had positive contact against the bed. So I just decided to do it all the way around so it kind of looked uniform. I kind of like the way it came out looking. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to punch some holes in here with a drill so I can put the screws through and then we're going to go back and put it on the uh, printer and see how this works. Okay, so we got the bed set back up on here, all aligned. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to, um, one, do a test, see how long this takes to heat up. Uh, typically it takes 6 minutes 30 seconds for it to come up to 70 degrees C. Um, once I added that insulative material the last time it cut 30 seconds off the heat time so that'll be one test and then the other test I will run a FLIR on this to see how the heat distribution of this bed now looks. So let's cut over and take a look at that. Okay, so we're back at the printer. We took a look at it uh, heating up. So it did heat up faster, about 40 seconds faster than just the um, uh, thermal covering. So the plumber's felt did make a difference. Now, I, I'm not totally sure that the, the, the that's a, a really good test. The reason I do that test is one of the things is it takes forever you know six and a half minutes before this thing starts printing so you gotta wait for the nozzle to warm up you gotta wait for the bed to warm up and then you know you're you know 12 15 minutes easy into waiting for your print to start so anything that makes this bed uh, heat up faster I'm all for um, one of the things you notice from the FLIR image, the, um, the heating was pretty uniform, which I liked. So it's definitely pushing a lot of the heat out to the center. And you can really feel the bed radiate the heat here. So I, I think that's worthwhile. And especially if you're going to do larger prints with larger surface area and you're uh, you know, concerned about lifting or anything like that, I would definitely do this. Now I can reach underneath here and I, I even still through that plumber's felt, I can feel some warmth. Now, it's definitely not as much as it was just with the aluminized foil, uh, but it's still penetrating through. So even at an eighth of an inch and, and with the plumber's felt, we're still getting some heat transfer through there. So it, it's definitely not ideal. Uh, I think for the money, this is, this is probably a worthwhile um, modification to make. I don't know, when I did the just the aluminized foil, I, you know, I said it's one of those things. I think that was really 50-50. I think it was some improvement, but was it worth the money? Yeah. I think this with the plumber's felt and the aluminized foil is worth the money. Um, because I think, you know, again, you're pushing about a minute out of the heat up time. So if you're pushing a minute out, a little bit over a minute, uh, it, you know, it, it has to be doing something, and the FLIR image shows a nice distribution of heat, and I think uh, over time, what's going to, you know, if you have, you know, like a 12-hour print, having this extra insulation in here, that's where it's really going to pay off, is on those larger, longer prints is where I think doing this uh, bed mod uh, helps. Now, what I'll do is I'll have, uh, because there's actually a couple components, so you get the plumber's felt, you have the aluminized foil, and you have the Kapton tape, which I use to do all this. So I'll set up uh, links to this on the page on uh, www.diy3dtech.com. You don't have to worry about it. There'll be a link to that down below, putting all that together. And then I'll probably also put this video on that page, too, as a reference, so you can go back and uh, easily find it if you're looking for how to uh, assemble it. So I'll have links so you can uh, purchase the product. Um, and how to do it and then I'll probably put a little bit maybe a few more build notes on that page too 
just to maybe clarify some things after I, I edit this video that I think maybe weren't as clear as they could have been. So anyways, hopefully you found that interesting. I definitely uh, feel a bit better about this insulative mod. Um, you know, because number one, I know it's not going to catch fire. You can put a blowtorch literally to the plumber's felt. It's not going to catch fire. So I'm confident with that. I have the aluminized backing on here for, you know, extra, um, uh, you know, re heat rejection. And I think, you know, getting that far out, that good eighth of an inch or so is doing a pretty good job in heat rejection. We know we've cut a minute or so off on the bedtime. We've got good distribution of heat on the floor. So I'm giving this one a thumbs up. I'm happy with this one. So hopefully you're happy too, and you'll give it a thumbs up down below. Smash that thumbs up button. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel over there. I, I release, you know, a couple videos every week. If you guys are interested in seeing something, learning something, hey, hit me up below. You want me to make, design something, hit me up below. Love to hear from you guys. Also, swag shops coming up there. Hey, Christmas is not far away think about that maker loved one and I got some really neat stuff out there not just your normal junk so go out there check out the swag shop and hey let's we'll see you guys in the next video cheers please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on